The future of farming, perhaps? A small Halifax startup took on some big name universities and corporations at an international robot farming competition. The goal was to see how AI could be used in agriculture. Brett Ruskin this morning with us live. He met the team. He has more on what happened. Good morning to you, Brett. Good morning, Heather. This competition was to deal with a centuries old problem. What to do with weeds in your garden or on your farm? And so the teams were throwing 21st century cutting edge technology at it. So here is a look at what the local robot looks like. This is how farmers dealt with weeds in the past. And this might be how they do it in the future. It's a lot like a 3D printer. It can go anywhere in 3D space. And so that's how we kind of reach down and either we spray or we um, cut, depending on what we want to do. This robot drives along a field like a tractor. A camera looks at the ground and analyzes the plants. Using artificial intelligence, it decides which are good plants and which are the weeds, even if both are green. Because you know that the crops are planted in a row and that the weeds can more or less be anywhere. And so you can construct a classifier based on that and fuse it with the visual classifier so you can have uh, accuracies above 99%. This month, the team packed up the robot and headed to Indiana for the weed and feed competition. You know, we came there and we thought, no, no way we can win here. So they looked also experienced. They had these big trailers. You know, we just drove for like two and a half days straight just to get there. Their ingenious system wowed the judges and they walked away with the top prize. I was pretty ecstatic, honestly. Uh, it was just kind of validation to me that our idea and our implementation was really good. The reason their robots stood out was the benefit that precise weeding could have on the reduction of herbicide use. So that is hugely advantageous because then you're eliminating the possibility of that weed becoming herbicide resistant. With a second prototype in the works, they now have to settle on a name. So uh, Halbot is one of our contenders. Uh, another one is R2 Weed 2. <laughs> So they were pretty proud of, of specifically the name R2 Weed 2. Um, uh, and part of this competition, when they won, they took home $30,000 US and it's going towards the development again of their second prototype, which they hope to have on farmers' fields sometime next year. Heather.